Yo, what's going on, guys? Today is an... Oh, wow, I totally ruined my intro. What's going on, guys? <laughs> I'm bringing you another Call of Duty tip and trick video, and this is for all of you people who are running as a team, and you guys are playing things like Cranked or Kill Confirmed or whatever. And this is just uh, an idea, um, and this is also for those of you who are playing individually, but a lot of people don't like this doing this whenever they're playing individually. They like going for kill streaks and things, which I mean is all right because a lot of times when you're playing with randoms, they don't pick up your specialist support, specialist support anyways. So it it doesn't help. So what this uh, major tip is is run support, guys. I don't think you guys realize how good support is. If if you don't know this, um, MLG is testing out whether kill streaks are good in this game or not. And uh, so far, their um, assumption is, yes, we're going to test a couple of the streaks. We're not going to use them all. We're actually going to disable a lot of them. And so the streaks that a lot of the pros are using is support. And, and you may be wondering, like, what? Why would you use support? I mean, like, there's the Trinity rocket. There's the this thing that's like the Predator missile. They never use support in, in, in Black Ops 2. And, and then my answer is, this is a completely different game, guys. Um, we need to realize that and adapt and instead of trying to, instead of trying to bring up the past, we need to uh, realize that this game is changing a lot. And uh, another tip is if you're playing with a full team, um, tell tell them to just pick up that gun instead of a secondary, because you get 50 points every time somebody picks up that ammo crate, um, and so that's always helpful for you. Um, and same thing with like ballistic vests. And so I find that with this stuff, it helps your team out get a lot more kills. Um, and a lot of the kill streaks in Cranked, I feel, um, are not helpful because sometimes they won't get kills and then you won't get any kills because, uh, and your crank timer will run down and then you'll blow up. Um, and so the one thing I would stay away from though is I think it's called the Helo Scout. Um, I'm not exactly for sure what it's called. Um, I, I can tell you in five seconds it's called the Helo Scout. That is what it's called. Um, because you fly up there with a sniper and if you're not able to get a kill within like, so say you get a kill to get it, and then you, you're down to 15 seconds by the time it comes in. You have like 10 seconds to um, get a kill with the sniper, and it's hard because your helicopter is moving. It's just a, it's a big mess. So um, I try to stay away from that one. But the really good ones um, I find are strike or the um, ammo crate, ballistic vests, uh, squ support squad mates pretty unfair if you ask me um, because the AI in this game are just sometimes ridiculous and that's actually a lot of the players in MLG use the support squad mate um, ground jammer also night owls kind of fun to use but the thing but but what we're looking for in the support tier package is is things that help your team and so UAVs help your team so running satcoms help now my problem with the satcom is that it doesn't do um, a lot and a lot of people run satcoms. I feel like my contribution of a satcom isn't very good enough. So I, I know I'm using it in this gameplay, and I only really used it once. And, and that's the problem with it. I, I want something like a uh, ballistic vest, maybe, over that. So I, I suggest trying out all of them. Try out, except for, like I said, the Helo Scout. Um, and I don't even know what the Odin satellite is. Uh, I haven't used it yet, but I'm assuming it's... I don't know. I'm assuming it's like a super oracle. Um, the Oracle is probably the best kill streak in here. This will help your team immensely. It's basically like wall hacks. You can see them randomly through walls. You probably have already seen this. But um, anyway, this game is coming to a wrap, and I actually get the last three kills. And, and just look at this sequence. This is how good. Like I know they're coming to the left because I saw their thing. Um, I reacted a little bit slow. I reloaded and then picked up that final kill. Anyways, guys, this has been your boy FT Wally. Please leave a like, comment, rate, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And as always, have a great day. Peace.